Hey fellow developers, are you still using basic print statements to debug your applications? While it may seem convenient for quick checks, it's actually slowing you down and making your debugging process inefficient. Print statements might work for small scale debugging, but they become unmanageable as your application grows because print treats everything equally. You can't differentiate between info, warnings, and errors. Imagine being able to filter logs by severity, format them with timestamps, or even store them for later analysis, all with just a few lines of code. Let's dive in. Switch to Logger Package in Flutter, a powerful, flexible, and easy to use logging tool that revolutionizes your debugging experience. First, add the logger dependency to your project. Now, create a logger instance and start logging messages. Logger allows us to customize the log format with custom printers, for example, adding timestamps or using JSON output. With this setup, our logs become more detailed and structured, making it easier to trace issues. For persistent logging, we can save logs to a file for later review. This is particularly useful for identifying recurring issues. With persistent logging, we can track issues over time and review them even after the app restarts. To make the most of Logger, here are some advanced tips. Adding extra context like user IDs or session details makes our logs more meaningful and easier to trace. For production apps, consider integrating Logger with services like Sentry or Firebase Crashlytics. This allows us to track issues in real time and receive alerts for critical errors. Whether you're building a small project or a large-scale app, structured logging is essential for maintainability and performance monitoring. That's it. For more details, visit the Flutter Logger package on pub.dev. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe for more Flutter tips. Let me know in the comments how you manage logging in your projects. I'd love to hear your insights. Until next time, happy coding.